Model Context Protocol, also called MCP, is an open source framework that connects AI assistance to external data sources and tools. It creates a standardized way for AI models to access information from databases, websites, and applications without custom coding for each integration. Developed by Anthropic and now supported by OpenAI and Microsoft, MCP solves the problem of AI systems being isolated from real-time data. This universal connector helps AI provide more accurate and contextual responses by accessing the information where it actually lives. And by building your own MCP servers, you will be able to connect cloud and chat GPT desktops to your own data and tools to streamline and automate tasks across applications and enhance these AI systems with capabilities specifically tailored to your needs. There are already a bunch of tutorials out there explaining what MCP is, but I don't see anything covering how to set up an MCP server in Python. I will go through the entire setup, starting from downloading Python all the way to creating your own MCP server with MCP functions for web scraping tasks. To start, open your browser and navigate to python.org. Under Downloads, Choose your OS. Under Stable Releases, download it and install the binary. There are a few issues I'm encountering with 3.13 version. I would recommend go with 3.12.9 instead. On the setup screen, make sure both add python.xe to path and use admin privileges when installing py.xe are checked. For the installation path, Click Customize Installation instead of the App Data directory. Check the optional features you want to include, then click Next. For the advanced options, check everything except Install Python for all users. And for the installation location, use a directory in the C drive. I'm using a sandbox for the Python installation, but on my PC, I have a folder called Python where different versions of Python binary are installed. Now I'll click Install to install Python. Once Python is installed, open the Python console or use a terminal to check if Python is installed successfully. That basically covers the Python installation. Now I want to show you how to set up an MCP server. To work with MCP in Python, there are a couple things I would recommend you install first. First is Node.js, which is a required component to run an MCP server. You can download Node.js from nodejs.org. Use the operation system, download the binary, and follow the setup to install Node.js. The second item is UV, a command line tool to make Python packages and project management a lot easier. And you can install UV by running the command pip install UV on your terminal. Now let's learn how to set up an MCP server in Python. This is the official MCP Python SDK managed by Model Context Protocol IO. They have a quick start guide which I highly recommend you go through them first to get a feel of how an MCP server functions. Now pick a directory where all your projects are stored and launch a terminal pointing to that directory. We are going to create a Python virtual environment to isolate the dependencies. In your terminal, create a directory to be the project directory. Let's call it MCP tutorial cd into the mcp tutorial directory. Run the command uv init to initialize the project files. Then run the command uv venv to create the Python virtual environment directory to manage the Python dependencies specifically for this project. Now activate the Python virtual environment. At this point, we are done setting up the project environment. The next step is to install the Python packages. 
on your terminal, use the UV add command to install MCP and other third party Python libraries required for the tool development. Now launch your code editor. If you want to check if MCP is installed successfully, on your terminal, I think you can run MCP version flag to return the MCP version number. Okay, it should be MCP version without the dashes. Now let's create a demo MCP server with a tool to scrape content from a web page. Create a Python file. You can name the file anything you want. In the script, import the fast MCP class and other Python packages you will need for your tool development. The fast MCP class serves as the main interface for creating model context protocol servers in Python. It provides a high-level Pythonic way to build MCP servers that expose resources, tools, and prompts to models like Claw, Gemini, or GPT. When you set up an MCP server object, you want to make sure you give it a name and use the dependencies parameter to specify all the external Python packages it needs to include when launching the server. The server name is going to be what is showing on the third-party application like Cloud Desktop or OpenAI Agents SDK, not the Python file name. Just keep that in mind. To create an MCP tool to be used with external applications, first, create the function like you normally do. Type hints and doc string are extremely important and useful for an AI model to determine the tool usability and purpose. I recommend that to always include type hint and doc string whenever you are creating a tool function. To convert a function into an MCP function under an MCP server, from the MCP server object, use the tool decorator to register the function. Name and description fields are optional, but for me, I like to include those properties as well. And for the last step, Call the MCP run method with transport type set to stdio, which refers to standard input output, a transport method for communication between the MCP server and client applications. The run method starts the MCP server and makes your tools, resources, and prompts available to clients. It handles all the complex protocol details, connection management, and message routing allowing you to focus on building your tools rather than worrying about implementation details. And congratulations, you have officially finished setting up an MCP server. Depending on the application you are using, for example, for Cloud Desktop, on the terminal, you will have to run MCP install with a Python file name to add the MCP server to the application MCP server list first. One important thing to know is that you can have multiple MCP servers running at the same time, and each server will host specific tools and resources. For example, you may have a server for web scraping function tools and another server to host Google Maps or data analytics function tools. To test the MCP server, we can launch it in the development environment with the MCP inspector. On the terminal, run the MCP dev command with the Python file name. The MCP inspector is going to initialize as a local app. Click the local host address to launch the inspector. In the MCP inspector, click connect to start the server. On the top are the MCP resource categories. Most of the applications currently don't support ping and sampling but resources are data sources that an MCP server exposes to LLM applications. Think of them as get endpoints in a REST API to return a variable value. Prompts are reusable templates that define interaction patterns with the models. Tools are functions that an MCP server makes available to applications. And rules define the scope of what resources a client is allowed to access. 
On the left hand side, we can see the MCP server is using the UV command line to run the request. Click Tools on the top. Click List Tools to list the two functions in the server. Click the Extract Web Page Content Tool. In the URL field, enter a URL and click Run Tool to test if the tool works. If you set up and configure everything correctly, the tool result to show success with the page content return. And that's it. That's basically the general workflow to set up an MCP server to be used with client applications like Cloud Desktop, Cursor, or ChatGPT Desktop. I hope you find the video useful. If there are any tutorial ideas you have in mind and you would like me to cover, please leave them in the comments below. And also, don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Happy coding. See you in the next one.